Debbie, thanks. The families of black people killed by local police came together today to issue a call for justice. They say other forms of protest pulled the focus away from the heart of the movement. Cairo 7's Graham Johnson is live in Seattle. And Graham, Manuel Ellis's mother and sister were among those who spoke today. And Steve, they spoke about the need for justice for their family and many others. At a time when CHOP dominates headlines around here, today the NAACP called a news conference, hoping to shift the focus. Please stop with all these distractions of all these different occupations everywhere because this is really about stopping these people but killing our people. And so we heard from the mother and sister of Manuel Ellis, who died while in custody of Tacoma police. They killed a black men, my son, murdered. 96 in Ainsworth, walking from the store. Marcia Carter said she is tired of crying and now wants action. I want my son to have some justice. I want people fired. I want them in jail. Ellis's sister says the system has failed their family. These people that are given all of this power, they're abusing it, which means that power needs to be taken away from them. Among those gathered today was the cousin of Charlena Lyles, who was killed by Seattle police officers during an encounter in her apartment in 2017. Katrina Johnson says her family is still waiting for justice. I don't even know what justice is anymore. Um, I don't even know if that's a real thing um, mm -hmm. because you continue to see law enforcement here in Washington state and all across the nation murder people with impunity. Today, Manuel Ellis's family expressed frustration that several provisions of initiative 940 were not followed in his case. That voter approved initiative has several regulations related to police use of force and today the state attorney general announced a statewide compliance review. Live in Seattle, Graham Johnson, Cairo 7 News.